Hello there. I appreciate your company. My name is Pauline Cheng and I am a Pasu coach. So, to wrap up the 2021 Chinese Zodiac series, I'm going to spare a few minutes to share with you uh, some suggestions on how to negate the negative stars. Now, honestly, since I started this channel <coughs> last month, I've received a number of queries from people worried about the negative stars in their charts. Let me be clear. The masters, my peers and myself, we did not share this knowledge to scare the living daylights out of you, fun as it may seem, but no, that's not the purpose. Instead, what we are hoping to do is to inculcate the awareness within you to create that space where you pause before you react to anything. Now, bear in mind, there's nothing predictive about this. Just because you have negative uh, stars in your chart in 2021 or any other year, doesn't mean that it's going to happen, all right? So without further ado, shall we get started? Now, there are some negative stars related to physical health, yeah? We see uh, the, the sickness charm in the rat, funeral door in the rabbit, and uh, earth funeral also in the rabbit, uh, quite a number of the others, etc. you can see on the screen. The solution, of course, <coughs> if you see these stars in your chart, is to take extra precautions with your health-related issues. For example, change your diet, uh, exercise more, go for regular checkups, stop postponing your treatment. Now, I, wouldn't, I really wouldn't be going for extreme sports on a year like this, but most of all, stay alert on any warning signs your body might be sending you. Next, next we have a bunch of stars connected with mental health. I'm sure you agree with me. After COVID, a lot of us will need uh, mental support. And you can see we have the yellow flag in the ox, uh, cascading clouds and peeling head in the, in the poor rabbit, and the rest of all these. The first key to catching these negative vibes is self-management. To become more mentally aware of the thoughts swirling around in your head and to take active, uh, proactive action to head them off. Now, some of the ideas would be like to learn something new. Now, I'm a huge proponent of uh, lifelong learning. You know, the reason that aha moment that you get when you, have, uh, when, when you learn something new, scientists call it the Eureka effect. And it has been proven that when that happens, you get a dose of dopamine, which uh, brings very positive feeling, uh, a burst of satisfaction, if you would call it. So also, learning something new gives you a sense of control. You can control your pace of learning, even if nothing else in your life is, uh, everything else is out of control. Now, if you're sick and tired of learning, well, why not volunteer your time and knowledge for a cause that you are very passionate about? Basically, what I'm trying to do here is to encourage you to get out of your head. And most of all, should the blues become overwhelming, don't be shy to seek help. I think it's time, really, that we did away with the stigma of mental health, isn't it? What's wrong with wanting to look after our mental wellness anyway? So if things become overwhelming, promise me, seek help. Then, there's this bunch connected to arguments and miscommunications. Uh, we see the broken star in the ox and the goat separating edge in the rabbit and, well, the rest. Now, to negate this is very simple. Make a conscious effort to speak clearly. Uh, this is a very Malaysian thing. You know, it, we, we like to say later. Later lah, later lah. Nobody knows what later means. If you mean tomorrow, say tomorrow. Don't say later. Also, try to be conscious of your words and tonality, especially in today's world where we communicate a lot by typing at each other. So we text each other a lot these days, and here's the problem with the written word. In most cases, stripped of a human voice and a tone, things can be easily misconstrued. Now, we come to the group of stars that denote uh, legal issues. Again, like I said, it doesn't mean that you have this, you're going to get sued, all right? doesn't mean that if you ha have the ox with the sword's edge, or if you have the snake with a whole bunch of their officer charm, your charm, all kinds of charm, very charming, the snake in 2021. So, simple. 
If you have contracts to sign, don't be cheap. Hire a lawyer. And the charms point more like towards tickets or summonses, you know, like parking tickets or speeding tickets. So, right, be law-abiding. Be the most boring law-abiding driver in the world in 2021. Now, next, we have uh, hidden issues. For this, I would say be proactive. Look under that rock. What has been swept under there? Is it health? Is it relationships? Is it, is it wealth? Is it something that you need to look into? It's time to gain some closure. Take action once and for all. The next group of stars indicate uh, stagnation. You know, the NATO syndrome. You don't know the NATO syndrome? Okay, <laughs> let me teach you. It's a Malaysian term. No, NATO stands for no action talk only. It's basically this bunch of guys, every day, they're talking about their big plans. Oh, I have these big plans. Fantastic. Oh, I think I'm going to do this. But only talk, nothing done. So, remedy, so simple. Take action. All right, and now the next group, well, you see Calamity Shah in the rabbit, uh, Disaster Shah in the dragon, all these other guys uh, indicating some obstacles. Well, what's life without some obstacles, right? Because when you overcome obstacles, you grow. So instead of telling yourself, oh, no, I'm going to have obstacles, I'm not going to do anything, well, why not have a backup plan? Don't leave things to chance. When you see this, that's what it means. Now, finally, last of all, here are the stars that warn of financial issues. We have the swallow trap in the tiger, uh, great assembly in the dragon. All right? So what is the universe trying to tell you here? This is the year to upgrade your money skills and your money knowledge. Don't speculate. If money is to be spent, then invest it in your business, in your psychic, or yourself. So those are some of my suggestions on how you can negate the negative stars in your chart. I hope I have allowed some, I've allayed some of your fears and stress over them. For the most part, as you realize now, a lot of it is about self-management. So that's it for the 2021 Chinese Animal Science uh, series. I hope I've been able to deliver some value and clarity. All right, plenty more coming up in this channel. So if you like what you've seen so far, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, please. Until next time, bye.